Let's do email password authentication. Uh, for each of the three authentication methods that we're gonna study in this unit, uh, we're gonna break them up sort of into it to a couple parts. So we'll, we'll uh, in this lesson, we're gonna do just the setup uh, that we need to do. And then in the next lesson, we're, we're gonna actually write the code, right? So we've got some setup. So we're gonna go into Firebase to do this. So open up my browser. Uh, and I was hanging out at the rules here and I'm gonna jump into a place down here that you probably haven't gone before. So log in and off. And you'll see that there are a number of different uh, authentication uh, methods available to us. So what we're gonna wanna do first thing is to, to click enable email and password authentication. All right, and if you do that, then it should bring up some extra stuff here about password resets and everything. Um, I haven't worried about this uh, too much when I've done this, um, since I'm really just, just using email password for toy applications. All right, so uh, registered users. So I can add a user here. So I'm gonna add a couple of accounts uh, just for testing. Uh, so my first one, and I'm gonna keep things simple. Uh, the password keeper app itself requires that any user um, has an, an at, since we're using it as, a, as an email, uh, email account here. So I'm gonna keep it really simple, a at b.com, and pick whatever password you want. Um, I just used five A's here, so, so pretty simple. And I can add that. And you'll see that it, that it it creates the user, um, gives you a date, and sort of importantly, it gives you this this sort of scrambled uh, UID, right? And this right here is what we're going to see showing up shortly on our forge once we authenticate. All right, so this ED five thirty three. I want to add another one uh, just for kicks. Might as well do it while we're here. So just be at c.com. Uh, and you notice that I'm giving everything at least five characters on my passwords, uh, and that's because uh, that's because of some validation that we have going on on the client side uh, that just requires that, right? So either make long enough passwords or change the validation, right? Up to you. So click Add User as well. Oops. Yep. So now I've got a couple of users here, right? And uh, believe it or not, that's really all the setup that that we need, right? So let's um, let's get caught up here in the slides. And we've got all this stuff here. Uh, now this is very simple. Um, it's good for testing, right? So, so just making users in the forge is certainly nothing that we'd, we would do in a production app. Uh, so what would you really do? So a lot of places um, you know, would, would have you do your sign up, account creation, all that stuff uh, on a web client, right? So, so you could do that. Uh, I've also done something before where in my app I have a create user button and Firebase supports that as well and they talk about it in their guide as, as far as just the method that you need to call uh, to create a user with a specific user and um, with a specific email and password. Okay, uh, Not going to worry about that now because we have some better authentication methods that are, that are coming up later. Short lesson. We're done. We'll see you later.